Hi there. In this session, I will try to share some useful tips to automate mainframe application that can be used to avoid batch test execution failure. However, this information is just not limited to mainframe application. You can also use these tips to automate other types of application like web based or client server application. If you don't develop robust test scripts and don't do proper error handling. Failure of one script might lead to halt of the execution of remaining scripts in the test suite that are waiting for your turn to get executed. So I will discuss few common reasons of batch test execution failure and how to overcome it. So let us see the reasons of failure. The first one is runtime error or exception. Example, you might have written a currency conversion function that has one input parameter to store input value in dollars and converts it into pound. But before converting dollar into pound, you are not evaluating the input parameter value. If accidentally someone sends some alpha character along with the input parameter, the mathematical operation to convert the currency will fail and it will throw a runtime error. The next one is incorrect error handling. Example, you are trying to read or write an existing file without checking its existence. If the file is not present at the desired location, it will throw exception and the script will be stuck at the current step. So a check should be there to check whether the required file exists or not. The third one is incorrect application state. Example, one script leaves the application in such a state that other script is not able to find the application in the intended starting state. So always make sure whenever any script starts its execution, it resets the screen to a state from where other screens can be navigated. In case of mainframe, if you have opened a screen in the maintenance mode and accidentally you have set a value to a field that is in protected mode, the mainframe screen gets locked. To unlock it, we have to press escape key. So if you have written any function to navigate to required screens, always ensure you are pressing escape key followed by F3 key to unlock and exit from the currently open screen. And the last one is infinite loop. You might have written a loop in the script that is never exiting and it keeps going on. Best practice to write a function or a test. You should always write the on error resume next statement at the top of your function or at the top of your test script so that if any runtime error or exception occurs, it is suppressed and the script can proceed further. Exiting from a test or a function. If you are using on error resume next statement, in your test scripts or inside a function and if any runtime error occurs the error is suppressed but an error number is generated and that can be accessed by using a statement error dot number you should always exit from your test or function or action or any conditional statement when such a runtime error occurs after which the script should not proceed further Iterating a mainframe screen. This is a sample insurance detail screen that has the details of all customers. It has the information of insurance number, customer name, and some assured. To see more records, we have to press F8 to navigate downward. Now I have written a function to search the required insurance number in this screen. 
the process is quite simple i will start from the row number where the insurance number is displayed first and retrieve the insurance number value and compare it with my expected value till i reach to the last row if the required insurance number is found the loop will exit if the insurance number is not found the script will press f8 that will fetch more records and the loop will continue until the desired insurance number is found or it reaches to the end of records in finite loop scenario to make you understand i have written this sample code where i am looking for insurance number 102558590 in any of the rows of insurance details screen that i have showed in the previous slide if the expected value is not found in the current page of main frame screen the script will press f8 to move to the next page of the same screen to iterate the screen i have written a do while loop i am iterating the screen from row number 5 to row number 23 that is the bottom of the screen and if the desired value is not found on the screen uft will press f8 button to move to the next page of the screen and the loop will keep continue until the required value is found the loop will only exit when the required insurance number is found or end of the records value is displayed at the bottom of the screen from column number 5th to 15th so far it looks good but there is an issue in this code this code might end up in an infinite loop for example suppose due to any reason the expected insurance number was not found on the screen reason being some of the previous conditions got failed and the script was not able to navigate to the insurance detail screen and because of that the script is looking the expected value at an incorrect screen and because of this the while loop will keep continue and it will never terminate and if you are running this script in a batch mode the other scripts in the queue will never get a chance to execute avoiding infinite loop to get rid of the possibility of infinite loop i have taken an additional counter that is i loop counter i am increasing its value every time whenever the f8 key is pressed suppose i expect my value to be displayed within 10 pages of a screen and it should not exceed that if the value of additional counter that is i loop counter exceeds 10 that means there is some issue and the code should exit from the while loop so in this way by taking an additional counter we can avoid an infinite loop please comment if you have faced such issues during execution and how you overcame them if you like this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon and also please don't forget to like this video